Are you thinking about moving your family out of Toronto, but you aren't sure where you should be looking for your next home? In this video, I'm going to give you three reasons that you should be considering Oshawa. My husband and I left Toronto and bought here about 13 years ago. And though when we moved, we thought we'd miss Toronto and want to move back, we have loved making Oshawa our home and raising our family here. If we haven't met yet, my name is Vilia Trulove. I'm a real estate agent that helps families buy and sell homes in the Durham region and East Toronto. If you're thinking of a move, my contact information is all included in the description below. Reach out anytime. You can also click the link to download my guide all about moving to the Durham region. So if you're thinking about moving out of Toronto and into the suburbs, here are my top three reasons why Oshawa should be at the top of your list. Reason number one, and definitely the most enticing reason for most people, is the house prices. You're going to get more for your money here. Home prices, of course, vary greatly depending on the house and neighborhood. But for example, a detached house in Oshawa sold for about 926000 on average in April 2023. In Whitby, right next door, that average price was about $256,000 higher. In Clarington, on the other side, the difference was about $46,000 higher. And of course, comparing it to Toronto, you'll save way more. If you're looking at a detached home in Scarborough, in the E8 area, for example, the average price of a detached home jumps up by over $465,000. The C15 area downtown add more than a million to the average price. Now, can you compare Oshawa living to downtown Toronto? Of course not. But if you don't have a one and a half to $2 million budget, but want a home for your family, you have options outside of the city. What's also nice is that even if you don't have that $900,000 budget, you can still get a great home in a nice Oshawa neighborhood for quite a bit less than that. So all this might lead you to think, okay, then there must be something wrong with Oshawa. What am I missing? Well, this leads me into the number two reason you love Oshawa, the conveniences and growth potential. When it comes to transportation and services, schools and hospitals, Oshawa really has it all. You'll get here using the 401 or the 407 if you're willing to pay for your highways to skip the traffic or take the go if you want to skip driving altogether. Without traffic, you're looking at about 45 minutes to get right into downtown Toronto. And if you're going into cottage country in the summer, you'll skip all that Toronto traffic and be in Peterborough in less than an hour. You're basically close enough to Toronto to get there quickly if you need to, but also far enough outside of the city that you won't have ridiculous traffic all day long. For hospitals, we have Lake Ridge Health, which has a world-class cancer center, as well as a research and training facility. And as far as schools go, if you have a kid in high school starting to think about post-secondary, Oshawa's home to Durham College, who has also partnered with Ontario Tech University as well as Trent University, so you have lots of options. The hospital and schools also make for ample job opportunities right in the city. Oshawa is growing rapidly and this will only lead to continued price growth in the future. And all this leads into my reason number three you love Oshawa, the lifestyle. I know when you hear Oshawa life lifestyle, it doesn't scream out positive vibes, but please hear me out. There really is so much good stuff going on here. First, you might be thinking a move to Oshawa means you'll need to go into Toronto to get anything done or to do anything fun. But this is 100% not the case. In fact, if you choose surrounding areas in Durham, you'll likely be coming into Oshawa often. Oshawa has tons of shopping, including the newly renovated Oshawa Centre, now two Costco's, and just about any other store you can think of. You also have lots of nature and outdoor fun right at your doorstep. Oshawa has tons of parks and playgrounds with some awesome walking and biking trails. This includes a great waterfront area with a brand new playground and beach. I absolutely love taking my kids down here in the summer. We're in close proximity to lots of different farms for apple or pumpkin picking in the fall and only a 30 minute drive from your choice of three ski hills in the winter for skiing, snowboarding or tubing. We also have six rec facilities with pools, gyms and ice rinks including two outdoor pads, one up at Dell Park and the other at South Oshawa Community Centre. We even have an art gallery. If you want to see a concert or a hockey game, Oshawa has you covered there too. The Tribute Community Centre is right downtown. I've been lucky enough to see some fantastic bands here, like The Hip and Great Big C, and can vouch for it being a great venue for a concert. And if you're a diehard hockey fan like my husband and boys, you'll become fans of the hometown team, the Oshawa Generals, in no time. There are also some great restaurants and pubs throughout Oshawa, from fine dining to amazing Italian food, or just grabbing a drink at Riley's Pub, which is one of our go-to places, you will not have trouble finding an amazing place for your next date night. Finally, if you're looking for a girls' night out, 
you can go to an outdoor paint night at the gorgeous Parkwood Estates or spend your weekend walking around the offshore market. So as you can see, Oshawa as a city has so much to offer and no shortage of things to do or places to go. There are some definite negatives when considering Oshawa. And if you're interested in my take on them, watch my next video that goes over the top four reasons that people will tell you to stay away. And if you're interested in making the move to Oshawa or somewhere else in the Durham region, or just have a question, please reach out anytime. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.